Hey there, it's Jimmy again, and we're here on a cold day in the uh, Rocky Mountain area. And uh, as usual, if you like what you see, please do hit subscribe and like, and we'll keep making these. Um, so what do we have here? This is neat. This is a last, uh, well, the last of this generation, 620 series Datsun Little Hustler pickup, King Cab. In this case, it's a 1979 version, which, like I said, is the last year of this before they went to the 1980 and the 720 series. So this one's cool because this may be a one owner truck. Um, obviously it's lived its best life and it's done now here at the junkyard, but let's check it out. So where do we start? This is actually one of my favorite pickup truck front ends. I love the grill on this with a, a double recessed headlights. Looks pretty aggressive, but still friendly and approachable. This would have had the Datsun logo here with the red and blue on it. Pretty neat. You've got this fairly flush fitting bumper in the front is nice in this case there's a plug must have had an engine warmer on it interesting this one's well obviously white it's got this blue stripe on it that was probably uh well it could have come from the factory like that not, not terrible at all looks good body's obviously seen quite a bit of use fair amount of rust on it some rust through but the frame and chassis actually looks Pretty good surface rust here on the frame, but uh, well, I guess here it's going through also, so it's pretty done. Six lug drums on the back, nice. This is cool, you've got the tailgate with the Datsun stamped on it. Tailgate's this old kind with a double release. Open that up, and there's your big bed, and this is cool. This one actually has a bed liner in it. I don't know if I'm aware of bed liners being this old. I know I've never seen one that's anything but black in color, actually. Have you guys? So this one's white, made by Lina Bed, with a huge R, registration mark right there. It's pretty cool. You've got these uh, tie downs, which are built in, which are great. These are always on older trucks, and you just don't see them on newer trucks, unfortunately, even though that's what every newer truck really needs. You can never have too many tie downs, right? Then uh, fuel filler is right there, pretty handy. Chrome door handles. This is the King Cab area. It added about, what, 10 inches or so, maybe. Not a huge amount, not enough for more people, but certainly allows a little more stretch out room inside or uh, storage area. We've got these tri-mount mirrors, which are better than the regular ones or more visible anyway. Too bad the badgers are gone, but that's where they obviously were. But no rust around the holes, so that's pretty good, actually. So let's see, what else? Let's take a look under the hood here. So this, being a 79, would have had the 2-liter uh, L208, uh, sorry, L20B engine, uh, obviously Datsun. Um, this obviously is labeled as the Datsun, which is obviously Nissan wouldn't be till the early 80s that they actually end up changing their name officially to Nissan here in the US anyway and uh, badging all their vehicles as such. This engine looks quite complete. Had what, 90 something horsepower? Um, not bad, pretty torquey. Just like the Toyota, what, 22R, this was pretty reliable, lasted forever. Nissan OHC, no overhead cam, neat, yeah. Very complete here. I wonder if anybody will pull this. I don't know. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Up oh, here's a little sticker for paint color. Can you still read that? No, can't read the number, but this is just obviously a plain white or whitish. Nice. Let's uh, take a look inside. Oh, look at this. We've got disc brakes, which I think were introduced in 78. So pretty cool, 78. Uh, so this is a 79, so second year for the second year for the front discs. There's the rest of the front suspension. Looks worn, but always neat to look at. And again, six lug. Not bad. So two wheel driver. Then looking inside, like I said, the King Cab. Let's take a look at that. So behind the seats, you had a little more room. Not enough room for anyone to sit in, but certainly enough room to put your bags or whatever, or just to recline yourself a little bit more. This had the cool uh, 
fabric and the plaid pad, cloth plaid uh, fabric, which is nice, with the blue vinyl. Made for an attractive truck. Obviously, the seats have the same uh, fabric on them. Obviously, they're well worn at this point, so someone put seat covers on them, which makes sense. Over here, same door panel on the other side, but it's got the window winder on it and chrome, which is complete. Obviously, seat belts. This one has an aftermarket moonroof, sunroof, which were quite popular back then. This one's got the the hey look at me <laughs> police uh, police light uh, with a handle here in the front and then let's see what else oh yeah this is cool this one actually has a three-speed automatic um, which is pretty rare but apparently it's been available for several years before this particular truck was introduced so I think it came out in the 74 foot with the automatic which is interesting I wouldn't have I, I don't know I didn't even think that these came in automatics but there you go so you've got this nice steering wheel, kind of a wood tone rim, a big D for Datsun in the middle, two horn buttons, three spoker, looks and feels good. Lights right there. Not sure what that's for, a vent, who knows? It might open for ventilation. Cool dashboard, 100 mile an hour speedometer, shows 20,799.3 miles. Obviously that's gone around several times, I'm guessing. Uh, fuel temperature gauges, idiot lights for oil, charge, brake, and high beams. And then over here is just a blank panel with another D in it. This is cool. We've got the blanking panel for the radio would have gone normally. And then the HV, well, the, the heating, the heating ventilation system basically underneath it. Wipe wash. And then the cigarette lighter right there. This person actually put a stereo in kind of the center console, which makes sense. And uh, it's out. there's vent, more ventilation from Nichira, I guess is the manufacturer of that. Not AC though, just be vent. Then the glove box store is missing and then there's another big panel down there, or no panel, uh, glove box uh, storage area down there, which is kind of nice. But uh, yeah, this is cool, what else? Oh, there's a sliding rear window, which is, I'm guessing an aftermarket add-on. And uh, what else? Let's say manufactured by Nissan three, in March 1979. So that would have been made in Japan for sure. Let's see what else? Let's see. Yeah, so it's got the light here, which is an option. Or he added it. You can't drill through it and you put that in. The mirrors were optional. He's got these rub strip things. Well, oh, yeah, this is cool. So remember back then, this bumper would have been an option. Back in these days, bumpers were not sold with the trucks. It was always an additional extra cost more you could get a bunch of different options this one's just a painted one but i'm guessing a chrome and a step bumper and different ones like that were available well, not guessing they were available you could get all kinds of different things for a hundred or a couple hundred bucks so but yeah this is uh cool the nissan 1979 Datsun little hustler pickup truck king cab so like we said, if you liked what you saw, please do hit subscribe. My little logo should be in the top left by now. And uh, yeah, just subscribe, like it, add comments if there's something you can add, or if you have questions, please let me know and we'll see if we can answer them. But thanks for watching. Bye-bye.